July, oh my sweet July, oh July. Hey hey, hello, bonjour, coucou, salut, comment ça va? Welcome, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cyril. I used to be a stem cell researcher for quite some time, and this is why I can tell you about the science behind skincare in Godin. For today's video, I'm going to talk about my favorite of July. I did skip uh, June for whatever reason, but well, here I am back in uh, July. So for this month, I have like a couple of, of sunscreen. I mean, this is me. I should say a couple of sunscreens. Oh gosh, my English, again, so sloppy, and this is just the beginning of the video. But anyway, I don't only have actually like skincare product, I have a little bit of hair product too, because well, I felt like I'm, I'm going to talk about it. And I've also had like other stuff, I would say, that are not really uh, related to skincare, well, sort of. Okay, so let's start. So the first thing that I just want to talk about is that some of my favorite um, YouTubers basically because I feel like I never talk about them and I do love the fact like to spread like some good vibes and actually simply also people that I really love. So um, the first person that is really famous in the skincare community is simply Gotha Mista. I've been loving watching her for such a long time. I don't necessarily um, Love whole uh, the product that she recommends because uh, some of them they do contain essential oils, they do contain perfumes, so I'm not really comfortable with it because they can be irritating for uh, some skin types. And I like to recommend you products that are suitable for everyone. I like to be uh, very inclusive, but I mean, this woman is so, so charming. She's, she's also so rel relaxing. I really, really love and enjoy watching her every single uh, time. And yeah, I mean, like last night, I've been uh, watching like three of her most recent uh, videos and every time it is so delightful to watch her. So definitely, if you happen to not uh, to not know her, definitely check her YouTube channel. I will put the link down below. Of course, another YouTuber that I've been loving for such a long time, and I don't say it because we did a collaboration, uh, it's simply James Welsh. I mean, I love him so much also, his brother. I do like from time to time like to watch like um, makeup related stuff, even though I don't wear much makeup. The only type of makeup that I do wear is like a tinted um, stuff, like a, a tinted sunscreen, which I'm going to talk about in this video, um, like a sort of BB foundation. They all have a built in SPF, but basically that's it. But I don't know. I like to watch a uh, makeup tutorial for whatever reasons. Um, Love James Welsh, love also his brother Robert uh, James Welsh. Um, the last YouTubers that I want to talk about, there are actually a couple and they do yoga videos. And oh my, I just adore their video. I do the yoga basically with them. Um, they are breathe and flow and they have simply transformed my back. This is something that I've never really talked about, but I have a lot of uh, back pain and etc. And I mean, I've just discovered like really yoga with them. I've tried before a couple of videos about yoga, but they, they were like a little bit too, I would say, relaxing uh, in a way and they didn't do much. But with them, I can do it like almost every single day and I love it so, so much. They are also so relaxing and at the same time, their class are very strong. They are really not um, easy. I mean, I just love them. If you want to try it uh, again, like I have said, I will leave the channels down below. Now we are going to talk about hair. I am by no means an expert uh, about hair, but I just wanted basically to show you like those two products because they did uh, make a massive change in how I do my hair. So I've decided like to grow my hair. Like as you can see, like on the top, uh, it is quite long. The problem that I always have with my hair is that they are so, so damn flat, like really like like a crepe, you know, the French crepe. <laughs> so that's not glam at all. Um, so the way that I managed to get so much volume is thanks to my beloved hair dryer and also thanks to mm, two products. So the first one is simply a powder. I mean, probably if you're into hair, you know this. This is the Taft, the what are you? The um, So it, it is written in French. This is the poudre coiffante, which is basically a powder that you put on the root of your hair and then you are going to massage it in with the tip of your finger. So the like, the way that I like to do it is that I do like a couple of section. I put the powder in an another section, another one, and then I reverse my head and I use like the tip of my fingers to massage in and this gives you like insane, insane volume. I really love it. 
um, and to fix everything, what I do, what I use is this spray from L'Oreal. What are you darling? This is the Infinium Pure, the the the, the what? The extra strong because I like it extra strong. Uh, what I love about this one is that first of all, this is fragrance free. Fragrance free, 100% uh, almost invisible uh, on the hair, and also like if you lose your hair at the end of the day, you can get rid of most of the spray. So I mean. This combo for me is like life. Now let's move on to skincare products. So the first one is this one. If you are following me on Instagram, which you which you should absolutely do, by the way, uh, you have discovered that I've received a sweet package from Taiwan. This is my sister-in-law who has uh, sent me all those uh, products. She is so, so sweet. Uh, and this is a new product from Curel. This is the Deep Moisture Spray. Oh my, oh my, you know how much I love my Curel products. But this one, again, incredible. And also the, the mist by itself. I don't know if you can see it. It's so good, really so, so good. So deeply hydrating, this is insane. Of course, because this is uh, Curel, it is fragrance-free, you don't have any irritants. There is an eucalyptus extract. This is not the fragrance component. Oh my God, I've just breathed some of the mist. <coughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, this is not the fragrance uh, component, so don't be worried uh, about it. I mean, this product, again, incredible, simply um, incredible. I'm already addicted to it. Now, let's move on to the crazy parts because we are going to talk about sunscreen and have one, two, three, four, five sunscreens. I know, I know. <laughs> and basically, they are the one that I've used, I would say, probably the most um, this month. I think, um, maybe not the first one, uh, I have actually forgotten about this one, which is this one from the French brand Lirac. This is the Sunnysim, the Fluid Protector. So this is the Protecting Fluid Global Anti-Aging SPF 50+. Plus. Uh, I don't know the exact UVA protection factor, of course, because this is a European sunscreen. The UVA protection is of at least 20. I have the feeling that the UVA protection of this one could be like in my hardcore category, so around 30 or maybe even higher than that because the two first filters is Juvenal Aplas and then Avobenzone. Both of them are amazing UVA type 1 filters that also absorb UVA type 2. Then we have two UVB filters, Octisalat and Juvenal T150. I've already talked a lot about Juvenal T150, but a little bit of this one can help to achieve an even higher SPF. Then we have a, another crazy UVB filter that is only soluble in water. I have to read this one because, because I just can't remember. So this is the Feni, yeah, Feni Benzimidazole Sulfonic Acid. I mean, this name, oh boy. And the last one is my beloved Tinozop S that filters, of course, UVB, UVA type 2 and UVA type 1. I mean, this combination of filters is like life, really, really amazing. I cannot use it every single day. This is the main problem of this one because of the avobenzone. I am someone who is sensitive to avobenzone and octocrylene. I have to film for you a video about um, sensitivity toward to certain towards organic um, filters. Uh, but yeah, anyway, um, talking about the texture, this one is a fluid. I'm going to show it to you. So it's very fluid, but very, very nice to use. This is insane. It's fluid, but at the same time, it's very creamy. It feels very like a very luxe uh, texture, like very expensive. Very, very good. It is a little bit dewy at the end, but not too, too much. And it works like magic under makeup, like literally like magic. It is quite on the moisturizing uh, side. So definitely with this one, you do not need a moisturizer for most of you, but it's a very, very beautiful one. The plus of this one, no white cast, absolutely no white cast. Whatever your skin color is, this one will be suitable uh, for you. It does have a little bit of alcohol. I cannot really smell it. Um, it did not bother my skin and I'm quite sensitive to um, alcohol. So I don't think that it will be a major issue for most of you. Oh my God, the bus in Paris. <laughs> And the last thing is that it does has a uh, perfume. It is a little bit strong. For once, this is not a perfume that I don't, um, that I dislike, which is a sort of uh, a plus, but definitely if you are not sensitive to avobenzone, try this one because this is an amazing one. And this is also a very elegant one to use on a day-to-day basis. -day. It is a little bit expensive because this is Lirac. Do I think it is worth it? 
Yes, because this is a pretty elegant one that you can find in Europe for once. So the three others, they are all from a Japanese brand, which is Ali. Yes, they are basically the new edition of 2020. Those ones also have received them from Taiwan. And oh Lord, you know that I love my Japanese sunscreen so, so much. I'm pretty sure, but of course I cannot be sure at 100% that Ali does have a pretty nice UVA protection and they are also pretty elegant to use, which I love. I'm telling you right away, all of them, they do have a white cast. Um, this one and the other one that I'm going to show you, is it like a horrendous white cast? No, it is not, but still it is um, visible. So for those of you who simply don't like the white cast, or you are more um, like on the darker skin uh, tone, you will need to work it out, like to spend some time to massage it because this is something that I've um, learned thanks to Satya. I'm going to link actually her Instagram account. Um, this is a French Instagram account. She's a, a beautiful woman with a deep chocolatey uh, skin tone. Uh, we like to talk a lot and basically she managed to use like some uh, sunscreen that does have a white cast and make it work for her and what she explained to me is that uh, you need to spend like at least three minutes to really massage them in and she'll also put a little bit on makeup on top but the finish is really nice also on her skin um, tone anyway so the first one the first one in this bad boy right here this is the extra uv gel the alley so the filtering system is also really really good like most of japanese sunscreen to not say almost all of them um, they use an hybrid system in the sense that they use um, mineral sunscreen mineral filters and also organic filters so the first one is zinc oxide which is a broad spectrum um, uv filter that absorbs uvb uv type 2 and uva type 1 then we have Okinoxate, which is a UVB absorbent. Tinozop S, again a broad spectrum um, filter. Then the last one is UV Null T150. What I love about this combination of filter is that you don't have uh, octocrylene, you don't have avobenzone, you also do not have octisalate. Therefore, for those of you who tend to be sensitive to those one with this one, you will not have any problem. This one does have alcohol and it also has, um, and, and no perfume, I mean. The texture, the texture again, very interesting. This is like a sort of gel, cream gel, I would say that is very light upon application that turns into this sort of watery lotion. Yeah, I think this is um, the correct word. You can definitely smell the alcohol for whatever reasons, like exactly like the Anessa actually, I am not bothered by the alcohol. I wonder um, if it is not coming from the film forming um, uh, properties of the sunscreen because you do feel that they film like this sort of protecting veil and I'm guessing but this is only a guess that it protects from um, the um, alcohol to seep in into uh, the skin this is my personal theory by no means uh, I am sure that it that it is uh, the case so like I've said it does have a white cast is it like a horrendous white cast no absolutely not it's very very elegant and also when you wait like for five minutes the white cast does um, disappear uh, it is a little bit on the moisturizing side not too too much I simply do not use any moisturizer with it what I love is that it also has like the friction proof um, technology is it as resistant as the Anessa probably not but it's not going to transfer into your clothes which I love and this one also comes in a 90 gram um, tube so a lot of it it is more on the expensive uh, side this one but i mean so elegant so the other one in this one this is the ali the nuance uh, gel spf 50 plus purity of all pluses of course very very similar to the um, extra uv gel almost uh, the same the difference is that uh, this one is coming from in four different shades uh, which are more like correcting uh, nuance in a way this is how they, um, they call it uh, the filtering system is almost the same. The difference is that this one also uses titanium um, dioxide, but basically that is the same. It also contains alcohol, and this one also contains like a faint uh, perfume. Barely there. This one is close to close to roses, but you barely barely smell it. Uh, so the one that I have is the one that is co called rose chair, which is a sort of French word, but the um, spelling is wrong. <laughs> anyway, it's not important. But you have like four different shades. You have uh, a really pink one that, that is called uh, Sakura. You have this one that is more like of a pinky skin shade in a way. Uh, you have um, a 
green one uh, and another one which I think is the white one or something like that. I'm going also to leave um, uh, a blog post from Radzilla Cosme which is always the place where I go to look at uh, the ingredient. This one also is so pleasant and because it has like a little tin to it, it could be interesting especially if you have um, fair skin like to correct some uh, undertone. Again, very pleasant. Also something that I forgot to tell you, it works like a charm under makeup, like so, so beautiful. This one also um, has the friction uh, proof. The texture is very, very similar. I don't know if you will be able to see um, the color. The texture is almost um, the same, frankly. It does like give like a very subtle uh, hue, a subtle uh, color basically to the skin, barely, barely there. The other one I'm not going to talk about uh, a very long time in this one, the new edition of the Extra UV Perfect. Oh mama, this one. This one, I really, really adore it. I use it a lot. Uh, this one, especially on my hands, it's also on my arms. It is completely bulletproof. In general, in uh, skincare, all the milk one, this one is um, a milk. They are the one that are supposed to be the most uh, protective compared like to the gel and etc. Um, also something that I forgot to, to tell you, uh, when you are buying Japanese sunscreen, usually on the package it is mentioned if it is mainly for indoors use or for outdoors, all of them you can use them outdoors. So I guess that the SPF but also the UVA protection is um, higher than the rest. Of course I cannot uh, be sure of it. So the filtration system of this one is simply mind-blowing. Zinc oxide, octane oxide, titanium dioxide and then uvinyl uh, plus so you have redundancy really well done this is it has like a powdery a powdery finish it is matte at the same time it is not drying it does not have any perfume it does have alcohol but again it does not bother my skin at all this is not greasy the only downside is that it does have um, a significant white cast usually when i use it uh, on my face i don't mind actually the um, the white cast that much uh, with this one but um, what I sometimes do is that when I use like a more dewy sunscreen, I like to apply like a thin layer of this one because it provides like this sort of matte blurring effect on the pores. Very beautiful. Also, if you want to wear makeup uh, on top of the extra extra UV perfect, my God, those name. <laughs> simply beautiful. Simply beautiful. Okay, the last product. Uh, this is like a lot of sunscreen is a mineral one, a tinted mineral one sunscreen. This is the La Roche-Posay, the Antelios Mineral One. La Roche-Posay, just tell me why you don't sell this one in France. Like, why? Because this one is a European one. I do not think that you can find in the American market, in the USA, which is very, very unfortunate. So this one has a UV protection of uh, 21. The filtration system, however, is not good at all because it only used titanium dioxide. Titanium dioxide is an excellent um, UVB filters and UVA type 2, but a very, very loose UVA type 1 filter, which you do not want. The way that I like to use it is basically instead of a sort of foundation or BB foundation. This one is so damn beautiful on the skin. And you know what is the best part of this one is the shade range because you have five shades and the last one um, seems to be also very compatible with very darker skin tone. Like finally, finally there are options for darker skin tone. This is something that is very important for me. Um, on my channel, this is something that I've already told you. I don't make those videos uh, about myself. I do them for you and I want to be very inclusive for everybody because skincare and sun protection is for every skin. Um, anyway, so you can definitely try this one. It does have perfume. It has alcohol. Again, I don't smell um, the alcohol. I have the latte shade because, well, I'm basically very fair. What is it? This is, I think, the light shade. This is the first one. It's not reader on the package. Yes, it is a light, the, the first uh, shade. This is really beautiful. I use it uh, with a sponge. The texture, it's uh, fluid. It does not really feel like like too too much as um, a mineral one. You cannot really use it as a main sunscreen because you are going to use way too much. I would guess that the coverage is between light to slightly uh, medium, but it's very, very uh, pretty. The finish is it's normal, I would say, not overly matte, not overly uh, dewy. It works really well on top of a ton of different uh, sunscreen and you can put a little bit of powder if you want to matte it down. But this one, for like a hardcore protection, you use it instead of you use it instead of your foundation and you are in business 
Okay, so basically that's it for my favorite. I hope you like this video. Well, you know the drill. If you are new, consider to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. Also, you can check my two Instagram accounts. I have one in English, one in French. Thank you so, so much for your time, like always. And I will see you next time. Au revoir. Salut.